Hello everyone, this is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. Today is Wednesday, December the 21st, 2011. And uh, just this morning, I was out covering a press conference uh, that was held uh, for two Canadians who are taking on the Bank of Canada in uh, the federal courts. I'll read to you, uh, this is a press release uh, that was just put out. It says, Two Canadians in a Canadian economic think tank confront the global financial powers in the Canadian federal court. The Canadians plead for declarations that would restore the use of the Bank of Canada for the benefit of Canadians and remove it from the control of international private entities whose interests and directives are placed above the interest of Canadians and the primacy of the Constitution of Canada. So, Basically, what they're saying is they want to restore the Bank of Canada to the way it used to be prior to 1974. You see, our bank here um, is actually um, public. Uh, it was nationalized and we, the Canadian people, do own our bank. Uh, however, um, even though we have the ability to print our own currency interest-free, um, we don't do that. We haven't been doing that ever since 1974. And instead, we've been borrowing from private institutions uh, and, and offshore banks, basically, like the Bank of International Se uh, Settlements and the International Monetary Fund. So this is a groundbreaking case, really. This could set a precedent and this could cause a, a, a ripple effect. Um, so we're, we're going to be paying a close, uh, keep, keeping a close eye on it and we'll update you with um, any more uh, new info that we get on this because as I said, it's, it's inc incredibly important. I mean, monetary reform uh, is absolutely key to being able to make any positive changes in the world. So uh, this is good news. This is good news for Canada. We're going to keep a close eye on it. And we just hope that the, that the case goes well. I'm sure it's going to take a little bit of uh, time. These things are often kind of kind of drawn out and it may take a little while, but the steps are being taken and, and we're moving in the right uh, direction. I mean, talk about hacking at the root of the problem, the real, the real issues. Um, you know, if, if we're borrowing from, from private banks outside of Canada, then we're not running our own country. Uh, the, the people with the money are. Uh, it's like that famous Rothschild quote that goes something to the effect of, you know, give me the power to issue a, a, a nation's currency and I care not who makes the law. Well, that's because the guy with the cash makes all the rules. Um, so until we change that, uh, we, we won't be running our own country, so it's time to take it back. Um, so we're going to keep you uh, updated about any new developments that are coming up uh, with that. Now, on another front, I just noticed yesterday that uh, our film, Into the Fire, um, has just reached a quarter million views on YouTube, which I feel is not too shabby at all. So um, I want to thank everybody who has shared the links and posted it around on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and, and is helping with spreading the information. Um, we really appreciate your support. And uh, I want to give a big shout out to the PFT crew, uh, Stephen Davies and Brian Law. I mean, the three of us are uh, just getting started. We're just getting started and uh, we're about to kick our efforts into overdrive. Um, just two days ago now, on Monday, I announced the launch of Press for Truth TV. Uh, PressforTruth.tv. This is uh, a new venture that we are embarking upon starting in January um, where I'm going to be coming at you every single day from Monday to Friday with daily videos on the news of of the day from the press for truth perspective um, we're also going to be providing high quality uh, download links to all of our films um, everything that we have coming up in the very near future the films that we are currently working on now and uh, other special reports that we're going to be making available there um, so uh, we're working on that now we would uh, we, we, we need your support at this time basically um, I, I, want, I want to make sure that everybody knows that um, nothing's changing with PressForTruth.ca and the way that I've been doing things 
for years. Um, I'm still going to continue doing the weekly videos, uh, making documentary films, and putting it all out there for free, uh, as we always have. Uh, we're, we're certainly going to continue with that. Nothing's changing in that regard. Um, the .TV site is, is something that I need to do just to be able to sustain my work. Basically, it it costs a lot of money to do what I'm doing. I mean, to make the kind of documentary films that we're doing, to do the videos, to run the websites with, you know, just the the bandwidth and the hosting, and and even just to have the kind of gear to do what we're doing, like covering. Uh, like the press conference that we covered uh, earlier today, um, it, it it's cost me a lot of money, and basically I just won't be able to continue um, unless I can figure out a way to make this sustainable. And you know, press for truth is hopefully going to be the avenue that can allow me to do that. Because as I said, if I uh, don't figure out something now, press for truth is just simply going to cease to exist. We just won't be able to do it anymore. Um, so at this point. We're counting on you guys uh, for support, and you can do that by getting a subscription uh, to PressForTruth.tv. A lot of people ask me sometimes, or you know, Dan, I, I like your work. I've been watching you for years, and I want to support. I want to pitch in. I want to help out. I want to get involved. You know, how can I support you? What can I do? Um, this is it. This is exactly what's going to allow me to continue to do this work. And as people who have been watching me over the years know that I've dedicated my life to this work and I'm going to continue to do it and I I, I don't want to just ask for donations you know I want to I want to provide a service on on a daily basis and um, so the success of the show is really gonna rely on you the viewer and, and how much support I get um, from uh, from you guys and and again the way to do that is to subscribe um, so I would ask that you go check it out uh, it's pressfortruth.tv I uh, go have a look at the site and uh, when you sign up you'll have access to the site for one whole year um, you can tune in any day to see what we have uh, to say about the news of the day and um, of course you get all the high quality downloads and and all that and again Nothing's changing with the way that I've been doing things for years now. It's just that, oh, hello. We have a little friend uh, paying us a little visit. Anyways, nothing is changing there. Um, I just, uh, I, I want to, I, I want to be a thorn in the side of the global elite. I want to, I want to take the new world order head on and I'm going to need your guys' help. So uh, please go, go check out pressfortruth.tv. If you like what I'm doing, I would just ask that you subscribe so that I can continue to do this very important work. So moving forward, I mean, 2012 is shaping up to be uh, one heck of a year. I mean, uh, well, in one year from today, actually, the whole world is going to come uh, to a crashing end. <laughs> of course, I'm totally kidding. I, I don't think that the world is going to end on December 21st, 2012. Um, however, I certainly have all of my views and opinions and a lot of thoughts about all of that and uh, we'll certainly get into that in the new year. There'll be plenty of time during the daily vlogs to talk about all these things. So anyways guys, I hope that you'll just join me on my journey and uh, come along and, and, and help keep Press for Truth alive. Um, that's the goal. As I said, I, I, I can't continue the way I'm going. I, I just simply won't be able to do it unless unless I can make this work. So I'm counting on you guys to, to help me out with this. And we're going to be developing the members area um, on PressForTruth.tv where we can make it... Um, we're setting up this cloud network on our server so that members will be able to upload uh, content uh, to the site so you can get your information out there uh, to the world as well uh, so anyways guys I guess that's it for this week uh, thank you for listening and uh, please go check out the site and I'll talk to you again uh, next Wednesday obviously this weekend is Christmas so I wish you all a very Merry Christmas hope you enjoy your your holidays 
and uh, I'll be back next week. Okay, guys, thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.